Hey everybody, it's Ben here and we are in front of my garage with solar on it to take a look at this month's electric bill. What I've been doing is just uh, opening my electric bill on camera every month so that you get to find out what it comes to at the same time that I do. Now, I installed solar back here uh, about three years ago and so far it looks like my return on investment is on the path uh, to being about six and a half year simple economic return on investment. Now, one thing that was really exciting was last month's electric bill was the best ever. Now, this is uh, right now October. It's a beautiful, warm, windy October day. So this is my September electric bill. That includes the fall equinox here in the Northern Hemisphere. And what that means is we're getting less and less sun every day. Uh, we're at uh, basically 12 hours day, 12 hours night right now. So let's open this up, take a look. I know it's not gonna be as good as last month, but I bet, oh, let's see. I bet the power company owes me $35. I have no idea what that's actually gonna be. That's just a guess on um, my experience doing this before. I hope you can hear me okay because it is really windy out here. So let's take a look here at the bottom number. And that is <laughs> Wow, big difference from last month. Um, but they still owe me 21 cents. Now, it looks like our usage for the off-peak was pretty much about the same, using about the same amount of energy for recharging electric cars or anything else we use uh, electricity at night for. Uh, the big difference is we overproduced oh, less than half as much power during the day as we did last month, and that's really where all that uh, financial gain came through. Uh, still, what's nice is that overproduction during the day uh, did cover all the various charges. Uh, so we did use a net amount of electricity, 247 kilowatt hours uh, from the power company. Now, that's still not bad. That's between a third, well, a quarter to a third of what the uh, national average in the United States home uses. So we're still definitely on the low side. Um, but we were using electricity instead of being a net exporter the way we were last month. Now, all this uh, varies a bit depending on where you live, uh, what kind of a deal your power company gives you. I've got a couple of different videos on this YouTube channel showing exactly how I installed the solar back here behind me, so please take a look at those. Otherwise, call up a, a full service uh, solar power company in your area. Uh, there's a lot of solar providers out there who would be happy to give you a quote or take a look at some of the online tools out there uh, to be able to figure out how much you might be able to produce at your location. So I'm disappointed that I went from getting paid $60 to getting paid 21 cents, but still the power company was paying me and you have to keep in mind that that's on top of all the electricity I use to power my garage, my house, and two electric cars. So think about that next time you have to put gas in your car, what your electricity bill, or the power company could owe you 21 cents. Until next time, stay charged up.